Good afternoon, this is uh, Peter Holden and this is my new art gallery and studio. I just opened it and I'm going to show in this art gallery uh, my work uh, for the time being. So we have opened the gallery, you can view it, uh, you call us and we open the door for you. And here are the opening hours. Okay, we go inside and we can see. I'm going to show my art collection, it's called the 2021 collection um, it's called Freedom uh, we're located at 32 School Street next to the Glyber Lake store so uh, if you want to find us you can find us here. this is uh, one of my artworks here it's a modern child sleeping and everything is about freedom and peace and tranquility if you want to see it in, uh, in your life come to the studio to the gallery here is a uh, an artwork, it's three-dimensional a little bit, you see from the side, sticking out. It's called Tango, it's dancing, dancing colors, dancing people, happiness. Here we have a uh, little abstract art, it's the garden. Here we have uh, one of my favorite paintings. It's pretty big, it's called uh, Sperm, a new life. It's a form of life. Uh, that we all come together, we're all in the born from the same womb with the same seed, and these are the seeds swimming in the embryonic fluid, all waiting to be born and to start life and enjoy life. That's really what it is. See, here we go, see all the beautiful shapes. Took me a long time to make that one. Here is a uh, a floating lady. This floating lady, this sculpture is uh, made out of plaster and sawdust. And she's just floating, she's free, she can she can do whatever she wants. She is free, look, there she goes. And she's just enjoying it. She's not finished, you see no feet or fingers to hands because life is never finished. You see? always has something new to bring so we evolve to become better and more beautiful and more mature in our doing and things. Here we have an art picture. This is uh, painted on uh, special paper, natural paper made from bamboo. There are three paintings of this. And this is all the 2021 20, collection so far. And I want you to decide what this means, what this is. Look very carefully and if you want to see and you know it, come to the studio and tell me. All right? What is your feel about this? Here, this is New York, New York City. And it's quite uh, different because I make my own frames and canvases. You see it has kind of 3D feel to it. See, you have this on the side. And see, nothing is straight here. Everything is moving too, see? See? It's, so, it's all bent around my frame canvas. So the canvas and, and the frames, they are basically part of the artwork. For me, I don't like too much flat, too many flat surfaces, you know? So you see here on the bottom. It sticks out. It's beautiful. And here we have uh, just an oriental drawing. Check. Sorry for the glare. See, with the temple in the back, two people in love. Here we go. We have an art piece here, and that work is uh, basically that we uh, go in one direction, you know, called crossroads. But we all go in the same direction. We're not. Sometimes we're not unique. You know? Wish somebody would turn around and do something new. That's what I'm trying to do with my art. This is just a doodle which uh, I made really like that. And it's enough, just a few lines to say something. And here is New York 53. That's a painting that really represents me a little bit. Um, I came here, I was born on an address with the number 53. I lived there for the majority of 
my life. I was born in Holland, and when I came to New York, you can see it's multi-dimensional again. There's two frames. You see, and again, loose canvas. See, all all it over here. You can go and look behind. You can look behind here too. See. See, there's no limitations. When I came to New York and I saw how beautiful this country was and is, with so, many, so much opportunity for everyone, you can, if you want to work hard, you can accomplish things. And this is what it represents. You can go under, over, on the side, and still it looks like you're in one land shape. You see the escape. You see the building still in one line, although the other buildings go in the back of it. This is uh, a very different kind of painting. This is called uh, that uh, restrictions. We place ourselves so much in restrictions. You see, there's wires here. You see this restriction wire here that's in front of it. See, we box ourselves in behind our own fences. See, and sometimes we feel like. We've been eaten up by life, or we can't really express ourselves, and this is a flesh-eating plant that just consumes us sometimes life. But I believe that if we take those restraints away, which can be done, we can get free, then we can become a new tulip. You see, this is a tulip. And then there's no life, no spring in our life, see? We can do that, see, and again, it's not a flat canvas, it's also shaped in an oval line, see? I like to, to shape it. I don't like flat surfaces. I want movement. You see? This is love. Just a simple portrait of two people who just met. And they're in love. And they're just sitting there for the first time just trying to hold hands and he's trying to touch her feet with his feet. It's just the beginning of love. And this piece is a, a sculpture that I made. And this is again two divisions between people sometimes. We speak words on one side of the fence and you see you can turn it around. You can just flip it over and then bring it to the other side, and then we're on that side of the fence, so we all have duality. But here you see that we can, we can come together, because if we stay separate, sometimes it's gonna cost us some blood. And we don't want that, we want to be together, we want to be happy. This is the thinker. He's thinking, and what he's thinking about is really up to him. And up to you, what you say. <laughs> This is called Brooklyn. This is Brooklyn. See, this is the gods looking over Brooklyn, and, and there's so much crime and, and, and violence sometimes taking place, but also so beautiful. So when God looks over Brooklyn, that's the Brooklyn Bridge, he's crying because there's so much we can achieve in, in this town and in New York City and beautiful. America, that we can come together. So I believe that one God is crying with his beautiful tears and his rainbow tears. He's cleansing the city. One day he will clean everything up. The crying, the mystery of Brooklyn and bring it back to New York, really, with his beautiful, pure workflow. That's a part of my artwork. So if you want to see it live, come to 32 School Street. And uh, they're for sale. So if you're interested in one of the paintings, just come by and uh, let me know. You can call if you want to make an appointment, 516-547-3250. Ask for Peter, okay? Thank you.